Uh, my name is Ferry Dharavit and I have been a writer, okay, writer, only a writer and I'm taking a topic of content strategy but I've been a writer for around uh, seven and a half years, six and a half or seven and a half years but I've been working for 10 years in the corporate world and I've been writer as long as I can remember but as the industry progressed we had to adapt and we had to take this word content really seriously. So every presentation not supposed to start with anything negative, but I am going to do that because I'm a rebel. <laughs> I do not like the word content. And I will tell you why. So yeah, I'll just give a bit of brief of why I do not like content. I've been working as a content writer for a long time and then later I worked as a content strategist. Okay, literally, I had that designation and I still find it so confusing. And as I said, I'm a writer. My role as a strategist at that time was writing. But right now, in 2019, you're not just supposed to be a writer. You have to be really an ideating person. So that is difficult. So me, when I think of myself as someone who is in the industry, finds it so confusing. How can aspiring content people really make it? So I'll tell you exactly why <laughs> it is uh, confusing. So before that, I want this to be really interactive because or else I'll be keep on talking and you'll just sleep. And I don't want that. And you know why I say that you're going to sleep? Because I've slept. <laughs> so yes, I would love to, if, even if I'm talking and if you have a question, just raise your hand and I will stop and I'll take your question, right? Because I do realize questions come when someone says, and if the question comes right away, it's more fresh and it's more to the point. So yes, why basics? Yeah, Why basics? I really feel very strongly for basics. Because when basics are sorted, you are sorted. <laughs> when I get confused, which I do a lot, because it's writing, I keep on reading a lot, I keep getting distracted, I keep zoning out, which I assume some of you are doing that right now. So basics are very important because they can rescue you. As I said, when I was a writer, or when I was a content uh, strategist, I, all I was doing was writing. And into that specific, uh, to, be, to be more specific, I was a blog writer. Is there any blog writer right now? Can you please, please raise your hands? Okay, aspiring bloggers, yes. <laughs> aspiring bloggers. Okay, awesome, very few. Okay, for you, you guys have to write. Writing is very important. And I'm saying as someone who gets bread and butter, for a writer, I want competition. I want everyone to be a writer because it's so important and that's a totally different topic. <laughs> Let me not go there. But yeah, content strategy is so huge and all I was doing was only blog writing. And because if I do not update myself, I won't get a job. That is why basics is so important. What is content? Can anyone just try play around and say what is content? Please? Yes! What is content? Mr. Ajit Botra. You know what? I do realize that and it's funny because I did incorporate that you as a content. But still, let's play around. What is content? Yes. Specific topic, okay. Uh, you basically like, uh, like, exactly, like, basically like when I write a content for my uh, any niche blog. So I obviously I write uh, with both purpose, like for the viewer as well as for the bot. Fantastic. For the Google bot. But I would humbly like to interrupt you because that's it. As I said, I started. I started by saying I'm a writer, okay, and I started saying that I'm a blog writer. But content is not just writing, and that's what we tend to make big mistake about. We are visual creatures. Yes, sir. Yeah. So are you come again? Material you're looking for. So it's one part of it. 
it's definitely one part of it and it, to be more precise it's for seo like if i'm trying to find something i should get it on first page that that is still part of content strat content and yes you had a question so for me in general uh, uh, content means the experience because that's give you a lot of material like if i am talking about True. writing a blog post mm. or you know writing poetry or anything for me it's experience like from morning to evening what i'm doing uh, interacting with people communication is content everything around that you do is content true absolutely true i really agree with you but when it comes to brands and capitalism we need to get money out of it <laughs> so i'm going to talk more about how to really use seo and those things to get the result what you want because when you're working as a content strategist in a corporate world that is not enough trust me because i love writing poetry i love to write fiction but do i get that clicks do i get that leverage ki okay fairy as a brand has really gone ahead okay she writes poetry are people going to really invite her no i have to see to it it's seo friendly but then seo is what I, seo is social media oh oh dear <laughs> social media and content is there any um, uh is there any connection yes there is so Yeah, I'll go back again. Why basics? I'm gonna really focus on it because even right now, I've been writing for ten solid years. I've been writing it. I got start. I started getting paid after seven years, and I still go to basics because I forget because it's so huge. <sighs> What is content? We just figured, as he said, everything is content. <laughs> content is confusing because it's everything. That is vague. <laughs> if i have to go really precise in what is content which is not into the physically like me and you as a content not the tangible thing if you go really online one online version what is content it's what you read on a blog it's the ad that you look uh, into the blog that you're reading it's it's that game that you're playing it's that photo that you're looking at it's the tags that you use for that photo that you're using at it's the title that you write for a blog it's that short 5 minute video that you're looking it's that stand up comedy that you're looking it's that web series that recently got you know a lot of backing uh, by netflix netflix is content amazon is uh, content every streaming thing you have ever seen is content images did i cover everything yeah gifs are content i mean everything is content and do you realize how difficult that makes for a simple writer to really keep up I want I need to keep my job alive how am i supposed to like update myself all the time but that is content everything is content right so if someone tells me what is a folio or, or a profile of a content strategist they really need to understand social media they really need to understand what goes into the web world world of web everything that you see online but you know what as we go as we evolve even what you're looking at traditional is content the newspaper that they are still readers newspaper is also content because when it comes to advertising your job is to leverage traditional and uh, uh modern mediums to make sales because let's face it brand awareness and everything is okay awesome but it's sales that we want we want money we live in a capitalistic world yes we do and we want to convert everything that gets clicks and all ultimate thing is to get money or if it is not money if it is not uh, roi return on investment it's social capital do you know what social capital is yes okay yes it's part of it it's part of it so you can say it's a strength of influencer like if i say something and you guys do it that means i have that much social capital so you can simplify it by saying being an influencer so content is everything <laughs> so doesn't that make content strategy a little difficult i can't hear you it's it's stunningly different and difficult because as i'm saying around 2 years back as a content strategist all i was doing was is writing and right now i have to really uh make my portfolio grow so now it's e-commerce e-commerce like huge and if i'm writing blog about hey this is amazing tiles and you should buy it now i need to change that entire tonality for amazon or flipkart to make it more 
uh, catchy and uh, action oriented so people actually spend money and buy and for that i need to have good knowledge of seo and to have good knowledge on what really works i need to know the psychology of the consumer or people so it is confusing and that is the reason you should go again to basics so i really wrote this entire ppt which i uh, suggest you do take it because it's just what i'm saying is going to go a little here and there this is more specific so it's basically what i just said you can take this once the session is done and yeah so it means that you don't want click to photo yeah that's what i said what is strategy yes what is strategy does anyone play chess have played chess once okay so it's oh, you have nice you have played so you know about strategy right you think about your each move right okay so if if this is a pawn a small pawn it can only walk one step how do i use this one pawn to its maximum benefit it's so bloody specific i'm sorry i'm using it it's so specific i mean yeah i use the word astonishingly i don't use this often <laughs> it's so specific you should know it's so goal oriented you need to know exactly what you're doing and why you're doing goals can become difficult when you know that the content part of is so huge so you can say it's the opposite it's this is so vast content is so vast and now you're talking about strategy which is so specific now how to use this for your brand what is your brand okay give me a suggestion for a brand coke so coke a like interesting fact do you know coke and pepsi has the base same customer customer base and how they are actually using uh, uh their strategies if you really go down to basics are the same and they share the same customer base and the only way they are differentiating themselves is coca cola is happiness and pepsi is swag so pepsi is more uh, gearing towards uh, college going kids and this is happiness which is like huge we want everything but still even after all these things their customer base remains the same and they only uh, ad campaign that works is like bombarding us with ads because they got money they got huge piles of money and they can do that we as a small brand can we do that we as a small brand can we be like pepsi or a cola or pepsi or anything can we be like that can we burn money like that no <laughs> and that is why content strategy becomes even more important because you have to be very specific on what you want and you need to know how you're going to get it, how you're going to achieve that goal so yes content strategy is goal oriented long term and short term so the best what coke and pepsi does is long term they're going to like just bombard you with stuff and it they, they're going to bombard you so bad that you're just going to go to a shopkeeper or a mall and just look at it and just grab it that's brand recall value you just take it brand communication with cta means if i am having an event if my company is having an event it doesn't make sense that i just do it in a small way like maybe if i'm using x amount to promote it i shouldn't do that same for the short term brand uh, communication with cta is call to action i want the users or the or the audience to do something which is more action oriented so your content strategy is going to be different so much and again this is basics this is very basic and if you really have to know how to create your basic content strategy you have to divide it between this and two and when you say what is long term time and what is short term time you need to understand coke and pepsi they have been here since the longest time and what they did was mostly brand awareness and brand communication with cta they used to go back and forth they played a long game we don't know if we are starting out if we can afford to play a long game so maybe you can have a short term plan with long term effects and vice versa and that is the reason you really need to have product knowledge 
And again, what is your goal? You need to understand that. You have to introspect. So did I confuse you enough? Awesome. <laughs> because I was confused. <laughs> and I worked as a strategist, so yeah, I'm doing a bad job. What works? Videos tend to work a lot. Netflix and Amazon and all these people have really changed the game. Now Disney Plus is coming. That is also content. There are so many new people who want to have their own series, they write books, do comics. They're changing the game. But videos is a safe bet. Facebook thought that it's going to be so popular that it actually elevated the numbers. Okay, they elevate, they lied to people that use our platform, use videos to compete with Google, uh, YouTube, compete with YouTube. What they did in the process, they destroyed journalism. When I say destroyed, so many blue tech journalists lost their job. So yes, videos work. I mean, if you just go, in, go, go on Google and type best way to attract consumer or the audience, videos will come first. It's interactive, it's fun, it's visual, it's colorful, vibrant, why not? But you can't really believe these platforms to give you best. Organic reach is not real. <laughs> So, so what to do? But before, before doing that, please do this. Facebook videos destroy journalism. It's interesting. It's good for your knowledge. <sighs> yeah, so honestly, even I don't know. It's, it's trial and error. Yeah, it's not a very bright picture, right? But making mistakes really helps. You never know what's going to work, what's not going to work. Content strategy is so goal-oriented that it doesn't have destination for us. When you say content marketing, marketing is like it's a place. You give your best, that's it. Content strategy is a process. And that process cannot be even a process if you're not making mistakes. And because con content strategy is so huge, it, it has everything. And ideally, you should have a small, um, uh, you should do a bit of everything that is memes or GIF or videos and blogs, guest blogging, uh, website content. You should do a bit of everything, social media, everything. Uh, you are going to make mistakes. Your job as a successful, I will, I will personally say successful content strategist is to bounce back from making mistakes because honestly you cannot learn without making mistakes. It's just that you have to be so strong you have to you have to have this appetite for knowledge for reading that you can bounce back from making mistakes so if i have to give my personal uh, anecdote or an experience social media is like really twisted you don't get likes and shares or whatever social capital as i said when you want it but on twitter which is the dif most difficult <laughs> uh, platform to get leverage or you know get more people to notice you i did one post and i didn't do anything i just uh, described the image and i got more than thousand likes on twitter i honestly don't know why i why i got that i just described the image that's it it was a retweet and i'll share it you can ask me it's it's an okay image that I can show it here. <laughs> it's from an alien movie. But it works for me as a social capital. I get more Twitter followers, I can write more, I can get more opportunities and all that jazz. So it's trial and error. I tried something again like that, it didn't work. Then I realized the only reason it worked was because the author of that tweet liked it. So now I know that I have to do something that that account again likes me, which didn't happen. <laughs> So that's it. It's, it's trial and error. And as I said, it's a process. And in the process, you will make mistakes. And your job is to see to it that you are OK with making that mistakes, and you bounce back, and you learn. That is the only way. And basics. <laughs> Go back to basics. <sighs> yeah. So further simplifying things, what if you are a product? So, okay, 
let's create a content strategy for you. Like Mr. Ajit Botra just said, content is everything. Content is me, and that is so true. And if you had to create a content strategy for you, how are you going to go about it? Does anyone actually want to volunteer, or should I just talk about myself? Are you sleepy enough? <laughs> I can pause. I learned how to be paused so that I won't feel uncomfortable. You guys are going to feel uncomfortable. I'm going to stop talking now and someone has to volunteer. Uh, as in f yourself, if I have to create a content strategy for myself, I guess I created a strategy a while back and it seemed to work for me. Yes, great. So not many folks uh, remember, might be people remember that I use this hashtag called Baklol Boraji. Yes, I Where do. I technically branded myself as Baklol. Yes, someone who talk endless, who talks senseless because you know, no. life is too serious and I don't want to be that. Hmm. So I use, I created the strategy around where I, you know, I, I talk about things in a humorous way. Uh, where people were able to connect with it, where which they don't say in public. But yeah, I was like, I will say that. And uh, when I went to different word camps, people were easily able to recognize me and they were like, okay, our Baklaol Boraji is coming. Mm. So that kind of worked for me because humor is the element that I want to attach to myself. I want to be that guy, you know, who is not serious, who speaks his heart out. If a person says his heart, he doesn't say his heart, he doesn't say his heart, he doesn't say his heart. So that strategy worked for me. Uh, I kind of created a brand of myself around it. Awesome. Can we just have a round of applause, please? <laughs> And that's exactly what I'm trying to say. Strategy is so personalized. It worked for him and it did, I know, I remember. It, it has that, like hashtags are supposed to be very, uh, not readable, but it, it, you can remember it right away. And that works. It has rhyme, it has BV, it's alliteration. Alliteration tends to really help you remember things. That's why your poems, uh, school poems were so rhyming because they, they have alliteration and they have that inherent uh, rhythm in it. So yeah, I mean, to totally go back to basics, what, do you, what if you had to do a content strategy for you? So as he said, everything is content, and I just focused more on, the, on how confusing it is. So we are, we are again going to go simplify it. What if you had to create a content strategy for you? So let me try doing that. If I have to create it for me, then I am the product. Like I, if I am a product, what does this product is? It's me in my tangible physical form. That's my hair, eyes, everything. This is me as a product. <sighs> Brand strategy and content strategy again comes really close to clo uh, side by side and it's confusing. But brand, so once your product is done, you go to brand. So brand strategy is different. It's how to get more people to look at your brand. But how to create your brand from the product. So uh, if I'm the product, my brand is going to be my attitude and my personality. So my attitude would be how do I respond to situations around me or react. Personality would be what kind of emotions or vibe I elicit like from people like you. What do you think of me? That would be a brand. It, brand is mostly attitude and pers personality. So brand, they keep saying that brands are going entirely personalized. Google brand personalization, you'll get it. <laughs> and that's why this example, I'm pretty proud of it. <laughs> so if, I'm a, uh, if I want to create a content strategy for me, I am the content. That means I'm the product. My um, personality and attitude is my um, brand. And what do I want to do? Because it's a strategy thing. It's the journey. What is my goal? Now here you can do anything and everything. Do I want more social capital? I want more influence. I want to be more fit. I want to be successful. I, I fix one goal and try working on that. Let's say I want to uh, be the source of knowledge. Okay, that is my goal. So what would be my strategy to get that goal? Somebody needs to help me with that. Now, you're all sleepy. It's done? 
Huh, you're awake. No, so again, I'll repeat my question. If my goal is to be the source of knowledge, what will be my content strategy? I can stop talking, you know, I can just stand here. That's fine. Someone please volunteer. Not you. <laughs> Someone else. Yes. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, if hello. Uh, yes. Hello. If uh, my strategy was to, uh, my strategy would be to create knowledge and share knowledge. Mm. So write uh, tutorials mm. and uh, uh, some blog posts about uh, knowledge itself. No, that's, I'm so sorry, <laughs> that's not, that's vague. Like, when we talk about strategy, it has to be goal-oriented, yes, but it has to be very specific. I use the word astonishingly. So I know, I just yeah, did okay. this. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, this yeah. is right in a way, but I really want to focus how specific it is. You said that blog tutorial is great, that's nice. Then you said some blog posts. So no, it's not like that. You need to have proper subject or, or title in place. And that is why to make a content strategy work for you, you have to be insanely specific. It's only then you'll get uh, returns. But thank you. Thank you for <laughs> telling. Yes, you had some questions. Yeah. Hi, my name is Surekan, and uh, that's what I was about to tell you. Yeah. You have to create specific content mm. which you want to uh, master at. Mm. You want to be resourceful at. Mm. Uh, that's that's what. That's that's yeah. good. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, if I have to say that, I'm going to say you said knowledge, but when I say specific, knowledge kaha se milega? Yes, that's what I was going for. Reading is so specific. When I say about specific, I want to be the source of knowledge. How can I get that? I'll be doing by reading, talking to intelligent people, trying to put myself there where there are more intelligent people or subject matter experts. That level of specificity. Do you get, wh do you get where I'm going at? It has to be like very sharp. You really need to know to get returns. And that's why, because content is so wide and strategy is so uh, specific uh, with what exactly you want, is why most people really fumble. And it is a fumbling exercise. And that's why you're going to make mistakes, which is absolutely OK. It's a trial and error thing. And you know the ironic part? Once you think that you've done it, the industry is, go is so dynamic, it's going to bring something else on your face. So it's reading is the best way to be, you know, uh, be there at the industry so that people in the industry really look up to you. Not even look up to you, you're there. You're peers with them. So uh, yeah, that was one. If I want to be a source of information, I want people to like, respect me and all, reading will be it. If I want to be a source of influence, I'll, be, I'll put myself more into places like these where I get to talk about stuff that I know bit and have more people interact. So this level of specificity is very important. And if you really want to know what exactly is content strategy, A, B, and C. A is a product. B is how you're going to make sure that you reach C. That's it. One thing I want you after this uh, session is have more questions. I mean, if I'll consider this session to be a success if you have more questions. Because content strategy is so huge and specific all at the same time, it makes you a bit <laughs> confusing. So yeah, offline is also content, by the way. Yeah, everything is content. And yes, uh, if I haven't confused you enough, and if you want to go learn about who's doing the best, Nika is one of the brands who has done really good. And they actually got. They made a lot of money with um, e-commerce using content strategy. When it comes to videos, which I said people can easily uh, uh, change the numbers, Old Spice new ads. Old Spice videos have done really well. And HubSpot article on how to develop content strategy is something you can go back to. It's really in-depth. There is a lot of links that can help you. It also tells you how to do videos and uh, come up with titles for blog posts. And yeah, that's it. Any questions? Yes. 
Hi. Uh, I had query you. So being a uh, content strategist, hmm. how do you keep uh, personalization of user in mind when you form content strategy for your blog or uh, content? So, so how hmm. it will be useful for actual readers and that? So I have another question for you. Is it for <laughs> is it for personal or is it for brand? Uh, any. So I, I'm just considering blog right now. So that can be informative blog, that can be personal blog, or that can be for. I'm product. so sorry to again ask you another question. It's very important that when you think about strategy, who you are writing for, and as you said, the question, the answer is in the question itself. How do you think about uh, writer uh, writers demographic basically, right? Demogra how to connect with them using the age. Uh, uh, age and um, the level of thinking and everything right yes yes so uh, you really need to read you really need to read and connect them on social media because i think social media is the best way to interact with them and when you have conversations with them i think that works best so i use twitter a lot i try to connect with people who show interest in what i write so uh, if you're thinking that you're going to change your writing for them it might not work. Okay. You need to write with what you're good at. So maybe it's 16 year olds I'm writing for. Okay, let's let's change the, the article. I'm a 30 year old. If I'm writing for 30 year olds, I won't be writing on technology, even though gaming is really huge right now. I know people in 30 age group, gaming is huge and it's gonna blow out of proportion in a few years. I know, but that's not my strength. I know there are a lot of 30 year olds who are also interested in um, reading, drawing, art. So I'll focus on that bit. And then I'll go to social media, I'll, can, I'll go to all those um, groups, and then I'll try to have a conversation. I'll try to be a moderator to, of a community. So that way I'll have a lot of more people around, a lot more fodder for ideation, ask them what works, what they're looking for and trust me you'll be like you'll have so many ideas you will you can't keep you can't keep up with those ideas okay <laughs> thanks yeah any more questions okay if you're shy i'm just sitting right there and after the session you can ask me a question so thank you